has, she has a clear memory of riding a bike down the mountain with no brakes. <laughs> <laughs> Esther remembers when automobiles and school buses first came to East Hampton. Her parents never owned a car, they used the trolley to get around. Esther didn't get her first car until 1937. Esther's wish for East Hampton is that it continues to grow, not just in wealth, but in quality of life. Esther is sure that of, of all the people here today, I'm sorry, Esther is sure that all of the people here today will join her in expressing appreciation for all that East Hampton has given us. So if you did the math, Esther is 101 and a half years young. Agreed to be our Grand Marshal for the big parade on Saturday. Esther, would you like to say a few words? Can I add one thing? <laughs> this is a challenge to all the fathers. When I graduated from Bridgewater and came home, my father took me aside one afternoon outdoors. And he said, now, I want to give you a present on your graduation. Not a present that the family gives you. I'll help them with that. But I want this to be my present to you upon your graduation. What kind of tree do you want? want to be a tree that I could plant and we hope will grow and I want it to be your choice. Well, I said on the campus in Bridgewater there were a lot of tulip trees and when those broke into blossom they were perfectly lovely. Would you like I said, I would like a tulip tree. So my father sent for the tree and planted it. And it's now growing in my front yard after 70 years oh, wow. of growth. And it's still beautiful. And every spring, it has lovely yellow blossoms that burst into bloom. Uh, and are, are just lovely. And I shall never forget that afternoon with my father. And what he did for me and does for other people. I've told lots of people that story. And they think that was just a lovely gesture on my father's part. Uh -oh. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> she came prepared. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. 